you know, I really thought that we got through with all these relationship conversations at least a few years ago, but it seems like that they've started to rear its ugly head once again. Modern day women just don't qualify for the top tier men, and that is the truth. Do you believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? I'm six mm. foot four, only about what? 8% of the entire world is six foot four. I make well over 100, 100K a year. And I'm black at that if you add that on. Mm. So just if we're speaking about those figures, the things that women are attracted to, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I'll let you do the math. All right, before we go, <laughs> what's your math saying? The conversation and the words that are coming out of the mouth of someone like you, I would never consider top tier. A top tier man mm -hmm. is also a man that is extremely desirable by way of his character. A top tier man is a man who displays a certain level of intellect that allows him to consider other people. A top tier man, um, they lead with love, not with dictatorship, right? They don't want to control their woman. They want to gently lead their woman. A top tier man creates space for a woman to feel good about herself. A top tier man supports the dreams and the ideas of a woman. A top tier man prioritizes a woman. A top tier man is in leadership and working as hard as he is to give the woman the life of her dream. And with but all digress. that stuff that you just said, that was just woman needs talk. That. Woman needs is look, also look, six four look, black look, attractive. Look, look, I don't what, know too many like, women in my circle like who what, desire a six four man still wearing I, braids. I, but... As women would say, I think his tea just got clocked. And the reason being is I kind of would side with her on this more so because it's all about a man's character instead of what you make. Okay, cool. You 6'4", make 100K a year, but you over here making this your whole personality trait. Now, fun fact, the guy in the video there, he got exposed, but we'll talk about that later on. But making you being 6'4", a guy making 100K a year, you trying to make it your whole personality trait. It should be looked at as one of them things. Okay, it's cool that you 6'4". It's cool you make 100K. But what else? What else do you bring to the table? Because you can be all that in a bag of chips and still treat a woman like other shit. It just don't matter. And then secondly, you don't even have to have half of that to know how to get women. Like, you don't have to be 6'4", you don't have to be making 100K a year, you could just be a dude in high school right now, or college, and just, just lean off of you and your personality alone. You ain't gotta be the best looking guy on the block, you could just be a dude that just, you know, you ain't acting weird, you ain't socially awkward, you not trying to say cringe things to get a girl's number, you just being you. There's millions of women in this country alone one of them gonna like you. They ain't gotta be the best looking. They ain't gotta be the baddest woman on Instagram either. They could just be somebody who's good enough that can treat you right. Looks ain't everything. And at the end of the day, when a father hands off his daughter to get married, he's more or less worried about how you gonna treat her versus how your finances are looking. I mean, does it play a role in it when y'all, you know, start to raise kids or think about planning for kids? Sure, but he more worried of how you gonna treat her. I'm gonna be real, he's a sucker. White, not no personal, he's a sucker, right? You all here, you got your black and white kid on here with the, with the white girl, and you telling your kid to choose the black one or choose the white one. Then the white lady goes, choose the white one. So you're already a sucker for that. Cause you over there promoting an interracial channel and you over there playing the stereotypical sellout black dude part with the braids. So you know, you want to be in the culture. So you're already a sellout there. Like I said, I ain't really got no problem with interracial dating, but you know, all these little racist tropes you got going on with this little BBL chick, that's already dusty. Then you got a, a, a white, a half black, half white chick from another baby up there. So when you went out and got with this chick, she already had two white kids. Fugazi is, I don't know what, bruh. Then here, here's what makes it worse. You be on here telling these chicks that they single moms and that nobody gonna want them. Like I said, a lot of brothers wouldn't have no problem with your commentary about single moms. But you yourself, Mr. I'm six, four, Mr. This, you with a single mom and had two more babies with her. And you in the picture, y'all got a whole little blended Brady Bunch family. It's just like Cat Williams said, all lies will be exposed in 2024. 
and it continues to be shown that a lot of these guys in that red pill alpha male space don't practice what they preach over here being with somebody who's a whole single mom but you preaching against it like make it make sense brother but if we're being real like most of this whole red pill alpha male stuff like it's not nowhere near to the same popularity degree that it once was many years ago like fresh and fit try to lead the charge they immeasurably failed you see where they're at they're making pennies by the dollar on rumble because you know they can't get monetized on youtube no more and they they pr pretty much almost for sure permanently banned on twitch if it ain't happy yet it's probably gonna happen soon if i had to guess with that being said y'all let me know what you're thinking about this in the comments below till next time i'll see y'all in the next video peace